Welcome to CFT's online lecture series. Today we are going to be talking about bleaching and stain removal. Bleaching in woodworking is basically what it sounds like, is we use it to remove the color of wood. Bleaching is also used to match um, two different species of wood in terms for coloring. You can use bleach to mimic uh, different types of wood. For example, uh, if you were to bleach quarter sawn oak, you can use it to mimic silk wood. Bleaching can also be used to remove old dyes or old stains that you have on your wood as well. Stain removing, which primarily we use oxalic acid for, is used for the purpose of removing stains. And not the stains that you use to color wood, but stains, mars, you know, that you get on the surface of your wood. For example, if you were, if you ever clamped your wood and you end up with a little bit of a black stain, called a black stain, it's when the iron from the clamp um, gets a little bit of moisture on it and then it um, reacts with the tannins in the wood. Oxalic acid will remove the black stain on your wood. For those of you that have ever purchased wood at Home Depot or any of those major um, uh, home improvement stores, a lot of times they have stickers on them. When you pull that sticker off, that sticker leaves a residue or leaves a stain on it, and oxalic acid will remove the stain from that sticker as well. It can also remove uh, rust from your wood, and it also will remove um, the burn marks that you get from dull machinery on your wood. One thing that oxalic acid does not do is it does not bleach wood. But like everything else, there's an exception. Oxalic acid will bleach poplar, and that is the only species of wood that it will bleach. Let's talk about different types of bleaches that are used. You can use your common household chlorine bleach. It's not very effective. It's going to require a lot of applications. It's kind of a, it's, a, it's more of a weaker bleach. You can also use shock treatment. It's the type of uh, bleach that is used in pools. You would take one tablespoon of shock treatment and mix it in with one cup of hot water. It's more effective than chlorine bleach, but not as effective as other um, types of bleaches. Useful woodworking. There's also a two-part bleach system, which is what we use in class. What we particularly use is called wood coat. It's called lighten up. Two-part bleach system, part A and part B. Part A is hydrogen peroxide, and part B is sodium hydroxide. Um, sodium hydroxide is also called lye, L-Y-E. Um, when using bleach, obviously, most people know bleach burns, so you want to always make sure that you have gloves on and don't never use it with your bare hands. When using um, oxalic acid, oxalic acid is actually poisonous, so you want to make sure that you do have your gloves on, that um, you are using it. If you when you when mixing it, uh, you want to make sure you have a mask on so you don't breathe in the dust. And also, if if you have applied it to any of your wood, you want to make sure that you have a mask on when you're sanding the part that has had um, oxalic acid used on it. So let's demonstrate how to use wood bleach. Uh, we are not going to demo on how to use oxalic acid. If you do want to know how to use it, um, come talk to me in class, and we'll do it one-on-one. -on -one. So your wood bleach is, like I said, is a two-part system. So I have my gloves. I'm going to put my gloves on. Mm -hmm. Safety glasses, just in case it splashes. And I have my wood right here. Let's get rid of that. Um, so we, uh, we, what we have here is mahogany. We're going to use the mahogany that we use in class, and we're going to bleach it. So, like I said, it's a one-to-one -one part uh, ratio system. So you take your part A. We're just going to do, for the sake of this class, this is all you need, is one tablespoon or teaspoon, part A. Then we're going to take 
one teaspoon, part B. Oops, so the label on this is falling off. Just put this over to the side. Make sure you always cover it up. Put the lid back on, prevent any spills. So I spilled a little bit on the table. So I'm gonna mix it together. You'll notice you'll start to see some bubbles and you'll start to see the two, um, part A and part B reacting together. So you take your brush. We um, usually use chip, chip brushes for um, this purpose. And then all you do is you just paint it on. Now the longer you keep this wet, the more reaction it's gonna have. So in class, we typically, um, in your notes, we ask you to keep it wet for one hour. So you just keep wetting it. You got it, it's pretty saturated right there. So what I'm gonna do is, is just set it aside and then um, keep an eye on it and make sure that it's gonna stay wet um, over the next hour. Now once you mix the two part system together, once you mix part A with part B, it has an open shelf life of one hour. So after one hour, it is no good anymore. And after, so one hour, just dispose of it. It can go right down the sink. It's not, um, it's water soluble. So you've taken your piece, you've bleached it. You can kind of see how it's starting to react to it. And this is what you end up with. This is before, this is after. Bleached, not bleached. You can see the significance and difference, especially here. Here it was not bleached and here it hasn't bleached. Now one thing that, to accelerate the bleach you can do is you can actually stick it out in the sun and the sun will actually accelerate how much bleaching, um, how the bleach works. It will dry a lot faster um, but it will accelerate the bleach that um, you use. Now, bleaching is only um, basically skin deep. It's really just, it's just the surface of the wood that gets bleached. So right here, you can see, I'll use my little spoon. This is, um, this I bleached, had bleached earlier on today. And the bleach had gone all the way up to this little area here. And then I was able to sand the bleach off to bring back the natural color of the wood. So you can see here, this is the bleach. This is the natural color of the wood. The bleach went here, up around, and kind of spilled down there. So I was able to sand the bleach off and get back to the natural color of the wood. So if you do um, ever make a mistake and accidentally bleach a piece that you weren't supposed to bleach, you can sand it off. No. So that is, that is it. That is bleaching. And hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, I will see you in class. Thank you.